Welcome! This video is to demonstrate the installation for the Series 2600 wood clad pocket door and the Series 600 aluminum pocket door. The installation of the frame and panel assembly is the same for both doors. For the purposes of this video, the wood clad door will be shown and finishes specific to the aluminum door will be shown at the end of this video. Begin by unpacking the frame components. Each door will have a head assembly and a threshold assembly. Single pocket doors will have two post interlock frame members and one lock jam. Refer to the shop drawing supplied and inspect the rough opening carefully to ensure it has been prepared correctly to accept the configuration and size you are installing. One of the two walls forming the pocket, typically the interior side, must be left out until the frame installation is complete. If the floor condition is wood, it must be protected with an appropriate flashing or waterproofing material prior to door frame installation. Check the floor to see that it is flat and level. If the floor varies more than 1 16th of an inch per foot or a total of a quarter inch over the entire width of the opening, it must be corrected before proceeding with installation. Determine the top end side of the threshold assembly by locating the installation holes on the weather strip channel of the extreme inside track. Position the threshold on the floor in the approximate location and make sure the inside edge of the threshold is properly aligned with the structure. Remove the track covers. These should be saved and replaced after the door is installed to protect the tracks during construction. To position the sill, locate the drilled holes on the outside face of the threshold and position the exterior post interlock frame vertically so the holes in the threshold align with the holes in the post interlock. Once the sill is in proper position, mark the back of the sill. Mark arrows at the threshold screw holes and mark the anchor holes across the length of the threshold. Check the space between the exterior pocket walls and the nail fin of the post interlock. Adjust the threshold assembly so that the space between the pocket wall and the post interlock nail fin perpendicular to the plane of the door is equal to the space between the end of the threshold assembly and the adjacent wall where the lock jam will be mounted. The vertical tab on the threshold should slide into the slot of the inner lock. Inspect the threshold assembly where it meets the surface of the floor. Check for and mark any gaps that will need to be filled or shimmed prior to final anchoring. The final installation must result in the threshold being level and supported continuously for proper operation. Place an arrow at the inside and outside corners of the threshold on the lock jam side. There are installation holes in the weather strip channel of each track. Beginning with the holes in the inside track, mark the floor through each hole. Remove the threshold assembly from the opening. Notice the factory applied sealant on the bottom side of the threshold between the points where the post interlock frame members will attach and at the lock jam end. It is very important that this sealant contacts the sealant on the floor. Apply a half inch bead of sealant on the floor along the exterior side of your mark. From your marked arrow along the sill up the jam and across the back of the threshold. Also apply a generous amount of sealant at each mark where the installation screws will penetrate the flashing. Inspect the sealant carefully to ensure that a complete water barrier has been accomplished across the pocket opening, at the lock jam, and along the outside edge of the mark indicating the inside edge of the threshold. Using the marks on the floor, set the threshold assembly back in place. Shim is required and proceed with anchoring using the number 10 2 1⁄2 inch flathead countersunk screws. Using a level, choose a sufficient number of points on the structure to locate the head assembly directly above the threshold assembly. Carefully raise the head assembly into position and temporarily anchor using number 10 2 1⁄2 inch finished flathead screws through the pre-drilled holes. Locate the post interlock frames. One is specifically for the exterior, and the other is for the interior. The difference is the cutouts on the interlocks must fit the header and the threshold. Install the exterior post interlock frame using the pre-drilled holes in the head and threshold. Raise or lower the head until the holes align properly. 
Pump sealant into the holes and anchor using number 8 3 quarter inch pan head screws. Now seal the pre-drilled holes in the threshold in place at the lock jam side using silicone sealant. Set the lock in place lining up the screw holes on the threshold and attach with number 12 3 quarter inch pan head screws. Raise or lower the head to align the holes in the jam with the holes in the end plates and anchor using number 12 3 quarter inch pan head screws. Shim the lock jam as required to make certain it's plumb. Anchor to the structure through the pre-drilled holes using number 10 2 1⁄2 inch finished flathead screws. Complete the frame installation by shimming the exterior post interlock on the exterior and the inside nail fin, attaching with number 10 screws. Complete the anchoring of the head assembly and shim to ensure that it is flat, level, and parallel with the threshold. Finally, apply silicone to the horizontal joint between the exterior post interlock and the top surface of the threshold, and then apply to the vertical joint between the post interlock and sill side blades. Locate and remove the black foam block from the head channels and set it aside temporarily. It will be reinstalled when the panel installation is complete. Organize your panels in the same order they will be installed. Each panel will be marked with a unit number and a panel letter indicating position, pocket, intermediate, and lead. Locate the lead panel. This is the active panel that contains the lock mechanism. It will be installed next to the lock jam. From the exterior, with the bottom rail vinyl to the outside, lean the top of the panel and insert it into the head track that lines up with the lock jam and lower it onto the threshold. With much of the weight lifted off the rollers, use a medium-sized Phillips screwdriver through the holes at the bottom of each style. Adjust the rollers to approximately 3 8 of an inch from the bottom of the style to the top surface of the threshold. Roll the panel towards the lock jam to view the vertical gap between the panel and jam. Make final adjustments so the gap is consistent from top to bottom. Now locate the intermediate panel. From the exterior with the bottom rail vinyl to the outside and the intermediate panel overlapping the lead panel, insert the top into the next head track and lower onto the threshold. Repeat the same process with the remaining intermediate panels. Temporarily adjust the rollers so that they roll freely. Before inserting the pocket panel, Move the adjacent panel into position so that the remaining opening between the edge of that panel and the pocket is approximately 18 inches. From the exterior, carefully lean the top of the pocket panel inward, insert it up into the outside track of the head, and lower it onto the threshold. Roll the panel back and forth to ensure the roller is properly positioned on the track. Roll the panel towards the exterior post interlock to view the vertical gap between the panel and the interlock. Adjust the roller so the gap is consistent from top to bottom and the panel is at the proper height. Adjust the strike plate on the lock jam by loosening the two machine screws and moving it up or down until the lock engages fully when actuated. To remove excessive slack, open the sliding panel and adjust the lock using the slotted adjusting screw in the center of the lock. The interior post interlock serves as a transition between the door frame and the interior wall. It attaches to the header and the threshold at the pre-drilled holes in the frame with 3 quarter inch screws. The inside pocket wall is now ready to build out. Shim and anchor the interlock to the finished wall. Locate the wood interlock panel trim covers. Position the wood trim cover on the back edge of the panel sliding into the track above. Then, using a finish nailer, attach it with the cover edge flush with the interior panel surface. Do this for the lead and intermediate panels. Next, attach the wood pocket closure to the back edge of the pocket panel, flush to the outside edge of the panel. Once the wood trim covers are in place, lift the pocket panel and gently move it into the pocket so that the panel edge clears the interlock and then latches. Insert the jam covers and starting from the top, use a block and mallet until firmly secured. Locate the foam block that was removed from the header and replace it up against the panel edge when it's in the closed position. 
Install the interior header wood trim by clipping the metal lip onto the top edge of the header. Then insert the interior jam wood trim into the interior channel of the jam. Use the provided wood plugs to insert over the panel adjustment screws. To adjust the aluminum pocket door panels, remove the covers over the adjustment screws. While lifting the weight off the rollers, rotate the screw with a Phillips screwdriver until the rollers touch the track. Then fine tune the adjustment so the panel rolls smoothly and there's an even reveal top and bottom. Repeat with all panels. Locate the pocket closure plate. Roll the panel away from the pocket to allow yourself clearance to attach the closure to the trailing edge of the panel. Position the top of the closure plate one half inch down from the head. Using three quarter inch self-tapping screws, attach the closure plate flush to the outside corner of the panel. Roll the panel back towards the exterior post interlock using suction cups attached to the panel. Lift it off the threshold and move the bottom corner towards the pocket. Slide the panel into the pocket until the panel interlock clears the post interlock. Install interior post interlock, insert jam covers, and replace the black foam block in the head. Seal the interior side of the threshold to the floor from the post interlock to the lock jam. Seal the exterior of the door frame at the head, jam, and post interlock only. Do not seal the exterior of the threshold. The weep slots on the exterior of the threshold must remain open. Congratulations! You've now installed the Western Window Systems Pocket Door.